Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on another one of our videos. We want to thank our recent subscribers. We really, really appreciate it. We just broke 25,000 subscribers and we really, really enjoy doing these videos for you guys. We especially want to thank our subscribers who have been with us from the beginning. Guys, thank you so much for making the channel what it is today. We also want to thank you guys for listening to our podcast on Pet Life Radio. It's called Groomer Humor. We're going to leave that link down below in the description. So in this video, we're featuring our beautiful little Lhasa Apso named Daisy. Daisy came in with a pretty severe mat in her left ear. I'm going to show you a trick and a technique that splices through that mat using a 10 blade and a clipper with virtually no pulling, no discomfort to the dog, and it's going to leave a finish as if the mat wasn't even there. We're also going to show you a full face prep, clipping out under her eyes, start to finish. So please check out this video. Okay guys, so here's our beautiful Lhasa Apso Daisy. As mentioned, we are going to be working on her head face prep, start to finish, paying particular attention to her ears. Uh, her left ear is pretty severely matted. So like we said in the intro, we're going to be showing you how we demat an ear with uh, virtually no tugging or discomfort to the dog using our 10 blade and our clipper. Rather than a mat splitter, guys, we don't like using mat splitters. They're dangerous, they hurt the dog. Uh, but as you can see here, she's got this really bad mat in her ear. Um, if left undone, it will just get worse and worse. So we're kind of separating it, uh, identifying where it is exactly. Um, this isn't really too, too bad. Dogs come to us a lot more matted than this. Uh, but again, we're just going to show how we can um, clip this mat out using our 10 blade. Okay, so I'm holding the clipper here sideways and just kind of splicing through the mat little by little. You don't want to clip the entire mat out because then it's just going to be a big bald spot in that area. There's a 10 blade. This is a ceramic. 10 blade. Uh, anybody who grooms their dog, either professionally or at home, you need a 10 blade. It's going to make up for about a good 75% of everything you do on a dog. Again, just holding this blade sideways and kind of cutting through that mat until I can loosen it up enough where I can pull it away from her ear. I'm supporting her ear here the entire time with my left hand, but there's your culprit. Or at least a part of the culprit. Okay, so there's definitely more to be done here, so I'm kind of just pulling it apart, separating it, um, just so that I can get that clipper through it again a little bit better. And again, guys, using this technique is, is just no discomfort to the dog, and that's why I like using the clipper and the 10 blade. So uh, once you've pieced it out, you can go ahead and start using your slicker brush. And it's going to pull out the rest of it. Again, notice how I'm just supporting her ear with my left hand. In a second, we're going to go ahead and flip that ear just like that and brush the inside of the ear because it's all connected using my thumb just to hold and support her ear flap. Try not to brush the ear itself. If you notice what I'm doing, I'm mainly just brushing the fur and not the ear flap. Now we're using our comb. We have a double-edged comb. I'm using the wide edge first, and then I'm just going to go through it with the finer tooth. But as you can see already, you can't even tell that the mat even existed. Again, guys, if you go and just shave the mat out, you're not going to have this look.
Her right ear wasn't nearly as bad, so I'm just going uh, straight at it with the slicker brush. There's really no need to be splicing through a mat because it wasn't matted, although it wasn't very knotted. Brushing the inside of the ear, supporting the ear flap with my left hand, protecting her ear with my thumb. Notice where my thumb is. In case you, uh, sh you know, brush up in that area, you're brushing your thumb and not her ear. So once you get through this point, you really want to kind of feel the brush. You can hear the brush. If you, if you hear that pulling sound, that scratching sound, you know there's a little bit more. So right here, I'm going through with the comb, and I can feel there's still some knotting. So go back at it with the brush. You don't want to yank on her with the comb. It's way too painful. This, this video is just minimal, if any, discomfort to the dog. Now that comb just went right through. Just going over her ears, making sure that there's no more snag, snags or mats in them. Good girl, Daisy. What a baby. Give them little breaks and praise them a lot, guys. This is really tough for them. Daisy's not particularly crazy about her face being brushed, as most losses and Shih Tzus are. They, they're not crazy about it. So I'm um, kind of doing my best to just support her face and, you know, do a quick job. Notice how I'm just placing the brush. Don't just brush wildly. Place the brush and, and brush. Good girl, Daisy. What a baby. Okay guys, so now it's under the eyes here. After giving Daisy about a three minute break, we um, wanted to get this gook out from under her eyes. So again, we're gonna go back to that 10 blade and just do a quick clip under the eyes. And I know, you know, we've gotten comments in the past that, you know, you should never use clippers around the dog's eyes. Guys, listen, that's like telling a surgeon not to use a scalpel during surgery. We do this all the time. If you're not comfortable, if you're not a professional at it, then of course, yeah, don't take this risk, but we do this all the time. And it's quick and it's easy. Get that gook out. She, she loves how it feels. Good girl. Oh. What? Funny Daisy. Daisy, you have funny ears. Okay guys, so after a really good bath, uh, we got her on the, on the blow drying table, and this is just gonna really hammer home uh, getting all those knots and mats out, and it's gonna just give her that really smooth, smooth look. Kind of just using a brush technique here to, to get through each strand of hair. You can do this, just have to be careful with this, don't pull. Just place the brush, let the air hit it. Just like that. It's gonna separate the hair and just dry it up quicker and it's gonna come out fluffier by doing this. This is called a fluff dry. There you have it again, guys. You can, can't see where that mat was at all. It just looks natural. Now we're just going to do a scissor trim and uh, just really finish up her face and her head. So if you want that natural look, guys, just use this technique. Again, just hold those clippers sideways, splice through it, and separate the mat. Daisy has beautiful ears. So we really didn't want to shave them or anything. And I checked for her ear flap on that. Always check where my thumb is, that's where her ear is. So 
always use your, your left hand as your guide. So you're not clipping off an ear. I'm using a uh, guide seven and a half inch shears here. Uh, they're curved shears. I like using curved shears so you get that nice round look whenever you're scissoring up a face. But you could see how cute Daisy's already coming out. You can't even see where that mat was. What an angel. There you go. Guys, you can achieve this at home if you want. Just use this technique, um, you know, and practice. Just keep practicing. There's that ear again. You can't see anything. Perfect. Guys, you can use this on uh, Lhasa's, Shih Tzu's, Bichon's, Poodles, your Doodles, your Calves, your any, any Spaniel. It, it's going to work the same. In more severe cases, you will have to shave out the entire mat. Okay, guys, so that's going to do it for this video. If you found this video helpful, guys, do us a big favor. Hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel if you're new. We'll see you in the next video.